In 2013, Parliament of Uganda passed the Public Order and Management Act, a law that guides police to authorize or disallow public assemblies and rallies. When the law was passed by Parliament, human rights activists spearheaded a campaign against the law, which they perceive not to be in conformity with Article 29 of the Constitution. The review of the Public Order Management Act is overdue. It is inconsistent with Article 29 of the Constitution that allows Ugandans the freedom to organize, the, the freedom to participate in political affairs, because it gives unfettered powers to the police. In that spirit, that human rights defenders lodged a constitutional petition challenging uh, the application of that law. Unfortunately, ever since that petition was lodged, it has not been cause listed for hearing. Since its enactment, opposition political parties have fallen victim of the law, which they say has been used by government through the Uganda police to suffocate their mobilization and campaign activities. Police has been using that. For instance, our meeting in Jinja, the FDC meeting in Soroti, we have also asked them, is talking to the media. Ad yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Stop people, you know, switch off the radios. We are asking, are they public gathering? So, question. This law is restrictive. It is inconsistent with the Constitution. And as such, our prayers were that it should be declared null and void and scrapped. The law that has uh, enabled space uh, for meaningful uh, discussions, debates, and expression of political views from different angles. It is not a bad law. A number of politicians have been using uh, violence, actually political violence, as a means to achieve their objectives. It is against this background that political parties, under the umbrella organization, the Interparty Organization for Dialogue, IPOD, met on Thursday to find a way of making the law less restrictive. That it is important you notify the police of uh, the venue where you're going to hold uh, a public rally or an assembly or where is it that you're going to hold a procession. And the law says when we notify you in 48 hours, you must report back. Police have not been doing that. So you take your letter, they don't stamp received, and they don't respond to you. And then from nowhere, they just say you cannot hold this meeting. We are supposed to secure them. It is for them, theirs is to just come out and start their rallies and so on and so forth. However, the human rights defenders believe the entire law should be repealed instead. What the police has done is to interpret it as if it gives them the power to allow or to disallow a public meeting. So the law is largely ambiguous and as such we have always argued that this law needs to be repealed. In fact it is... We are breaking my hand. Inanga says the law should be strengthened to further close all the loopholes that put the police at odds with political actors. You are aware that uh, the law of public order management uh, doesn't talk about defiance of, of its law, of it as a law, okay? Now we are having politicians who are coming to defy that law and say that, you know, it is, after all, it is notification where they have failed to disperse now, how do we go about it? The new law, if it is coming, should indicate that very clear so that the public can also know that. The law should also be clear on conflicting interests. Inanga chooses the Forum for Democratic Change Party of consistently violating the law. The FDC has been doing so. What you are failing to distinguish is how they have been transitioning from a public meeting and going ahead to um, turn the public meeting now into wanting to hold a public assembly. If you oppress others, the day you will also be oppressed. That is when you will realize that it is not good to oppress others. This law was enacted in bad faith. It was enacted in the interest of the state to gag the opposition.
to gag all those who have alternative views. Chadondo is MP Robert Chagulanyi, commonly known as Bobby Wine, has been the latest victim of the said law when police blocked him from holding a concert at his privately owned One Love Beach at Busabala in Wakiso. Recently we had a preventive arrangement okay, at the home of Honorable Robert Chagulanyi. We didn't enter his premises, we just kept monitoring him under the general provisions of prevention under the constitution. The Interparty Organization for Dialogue, chaired by Democratic Party Secretary General, Dr. Gerard Siranda, constituted a committee and is expected to come up with recommendations and amendments to the law. Jingo Francis, NTV.